Hi and welcome. I'm John and this is Unique Wargaming Terrain. Guys, welcome back. For everyone that's new, this is the weekly Wednesday Wargaming Questions and Answers. It's an off-the-cuff video, guys. What that means is I record and upload. There is no fancy editing skills. You won't see my intro at the beginning. There is a um, transition button. So if it starts raining heavy or there's noise outside of my control, I can stop filming, wait for that to pass and carry on. Now, these weekly Wednesdays are essentially a Q&A. You guys ask me questions and I answer them. They are 99% model focused and it's 99% GW stuff. And it's 99.9% .9 time 40K. As that's the hottest thing, especially right, especially right now. There's some time to time, there is some terrain questions that come into place. Some information about myself and what's going on happening in the random workshop. And that's just a bit. We do have a weekly vote. What you guys are going to blow your minds this week? As a few of you commented about the librarian that I built. Yeah, yeah, it's, I can't wait for him seeing the vote. And the Tyranid, the Xenophobes, or whatever they're called. You can't wait to see them in the vote. But they're in the vote this week. There's two other models in the vote as well. That are going to give you guys headaches of what to vote for. Anyway. Let's start with the uh, some questions and some, some pieces. The fiasco with the 10th edition box. <sighs> now, you watched the videos at the weekend where I was doing painting videos because the box didn't arrive up on the Saturday as it should have. Now, after speaking with Air Hobbies, what I understand is instead of spend, sending Air Hobbies the format that they they, they they bought and bought for, paid for. They sent 30, 30 odd copies. Then that's one day. The next day they sent another 30 odd copies. And they started doing it in waves like that, which makes no sense. And the lad I was speaking to was, was giving that help because it's been on pre order for two weeks. You know, they had got knowledge of it like week before. It's been on, it's, you know, it's been on pre order for two weeks. They know how many they want. How many has been ordered by the company? So, to cut long story short, my copy arrived up with them. I hope you know, Saturday, I think it was Saturday afternoon. They then shipped it out to me. Sunday's not a working day. So, Monday counts as the first working day. I received it Tuesday morning. Which I was still trying to finish the Raptors for Monday's painting video. So, anyway, I only got a chance to open the box yesterday evening. But... There is a let's build underway. Okay. Um, I'm filming it today. So hopefully the plan is to get that finished today. Not the whole box now. Just one half of the box. The nid side of the box. I wasn't going to tell you, but you'll soon find out. Um, and then next day do the space room box. And that box is all done out of the way. That was the plan. That was the plan for the weekend as well, but didn't, didn't arrive up. Um, so that's that's the story of, of that and just of where we are with that. I'm I'm not even going to say I'm halfway through nids. I'm not. But from what I've built so far, perfect. And I actually hope when they come out, and the ones that I've built so far, when they come out in single boxes by themselves, they're that easy to build, because that that is. Fantastic. That will sell a lot. If it was that easy to build, they'll sell a lot. That loads them. So someone buys it goes, this is easy to build. They'll buy more boxes and everyone will start kept, you know, doing the same thing again. What do you think about the, the 10th edition box minis? To be honest with you, I said I only opened, I only had a good look at them. It's like me looking at the sprue and I can say, oh, that's good. But when I'm actually putting them together, it's when I'm noticing the actual <laughs> craziness of details. Um, and what I've seen so far, Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. It's a, it's a little bit annoying because they probably had these sculpts ready probably about a year ago. And they just carried on just making the boxes and, you know, doing what they're doing. And everything you, you, that you see come out this rest of this year was probably, it's probably been sitting there for a year waiting to, waiting to you know, go on to sell. But what I've seen so far... 
absolutely fantastic. Now I've only put, I put three models together from the box so far. They're going to be in the boat for this week. Um, but absolutely fantastic. That's all I can say. Um, okay. Last question. The niche you built recently, Neo Fultz, that way I have pronounced their name, I don't know, but these guys, yeah. Um, I like so much, I've ordered two boxes to add, my temp, to add to my temp edition box. How many points in this do you have now? And are you going to fit them in a better report anytime soon? Well, going on um, night prediction points value, not including the temp edition box, I had a, I have around twelve hundred points. Now let's just say a thousand points for argument's sakes, because of points dropping here and there. Um, with the 10th edition box, I'm probably, I think that's about five, 600 points. So I'm probably about 1,500, 1,600 points thereabouts with what I have already. Now, when am I going to fill the battle? I want to get, I want to get these guys up to 2,000 points. And that takes a lot because there's a lot of, you know, lots of this business to do. When, I, when I'm saying I'm 1,500 points, that's including... Uh, that's 80 termagants. Okay, so that's that's a lot. In in night position rules, there were seven points each. So even so, a hundred of those is gonna be 700, 700 points. So you can see it's not not far away from from that. So it's, I don't know. It's I want to get to two thousand points. There's still a few bits and pieces for me to get to them. Get for them. Um, I've got a second lictor that's arrived. It's a resin one, I know, but. I, I like I like the sculpt on it. So unfortunately, even though it's resin, but he's still to do. I've got fifty nine terminals to do. I've got nine gargoyles to put together as well. So then I've, I, can, I can have a unit of twenty if I wanted to, which is 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 fantastic. But I don't. I think unit of twenty gargoyles is is a bit silly because the gargoyles have a special rule now, that where they can move, shoot, and then move again. So you can actually pop them, move them up somewhere, drop some shots off, and hide on cover. And if you've got, you know, 20 of those, you're not going to be able to get all them behind cover. So they're going to get popped, they're going to get shot at, and, you know, a few of them are going to die. And... But units of 10, you might be able to get them up to a position, have a few shots, and then just hide behind, even if you're snaking behind each other. Um, I don't know yet. But I need to get to 2,000 points. And this this box is a, a, a big push. Now, of course, I'm thinking ahead, thinking further, further ahead. Because guaranteed, there's going to be another Imperium type magazine, probably released next year sometime, I'd say, and it's going to have everything that's in this box plus more. You look at the Imperium magazine that came out; it had everything that was in the Indominus box, apart from a few characters, plus more. And with the Necrons as well, you know, every, actually with the Necrons, I think everything that was in the Indominus box is on the Necron box in the Imperium magazine. Well, Necrons and there was heap more with the Necron Triarch that I'm not even built yet, so sitting here for me to build. That's like 45 quid, I think, is on its own. They came in two issues. That's bonkers. So it cost me 28 quid as opposed to 45 50 quid in, in the world shop. Anyway, that's double sort of the question now. Hopefully, before the end of this year, I'll have. The nids in the battle report for you guys, as in me playing the nids. We'll see. <laughs> but um, that's all the questions I have today. I'm going to bring you down for the vote now, guys. The reason it's going to be a very short episode this week is because I I want to try and get the rest of these nids built today. So then tomorrow I can build the space marine side of it all. And then that frees me up for the weekend to just try and do a few random blitz builds or a few painting things but there's no panic because i'm back to work next week then i'm off for another week's holiday so there's no panic but i want to try and get as much done as i can this week and then i can just you know just next second week of holiday just start doing painting and start doing start clearing a lot of this down because i wanted to have a lot of this gone before this temperature dropped but 
you, you lose track of time and dates and all of a sudden you go oh that's next week but anyway we we'll read down and show you the voting uh, what's the voting about and has it worked for everyone that's new i show you a host of models and you guys vote on what you want me to paint next monday's painting video now i know someone's going to say yeah but the raptors won and they didn't go up till tuesday yeah there's a few things that's on my control that stopped me from finishing them but um on monday there was still painting video that went up and the raptors then went up on tuesday so it's essentially monday's painting video but if something happens that's on my control then it will become like tuesday painting video or it could go up could be done late monday afternoon by the time for whatever reason the internet slows down and by the time it uploads onto youtube it's just gone after midnight that's happened a few times but anyway you vote on this on, on these models you check a comment below on this video saying i vote for xyz you can vote for one model you can vote for five models it doesn't matter but do not say yeah do not say i vote for everything because that won't count okay everything has to be painted um you could you could say to me i vote for any of the space marine heroes hqs i vote for any of the chaos space marine hqs or any of the you know or any of the nids or any of the eldari or any of, okay that will count so uh i'm going to bring you down and show them now and uh fry your mind now what what does vote on right we have the obliterators we have the psychophage have a look at this look at that in there that is absolutely beautiful like this just oh that reminds me of the um, vampires in blade 2 the ones that eat other vampires we have the horrors we have the uh this psychic guy xenophorp i think it's called don't even try and ask me how to pronounce it i don't don't panic about pronouncing it if you want to call it the uh the, the psychic nid unit or the nid unit with the or the z call it the z nid unit then i know which one you're talking about to keep it simple we have the blade guard blade guards from indominus box which is ninth edition you know uh, 40k we have the tyranid prime which again is an absolutely sexy model look at that look at the look at the wing wing folds that's gonna have some crazy dry brushing on it we have the black wing uh, death wing knight sorry we have chaos sorcerer michael nuggle we have the engine seer he's gonna get lots of votes this week <laughs> we have the uh heavy incessors we have ezreal we have the ancient blade god ancient from indominus box still and we have the captain from indominus box there are three models left these two and the blade guards are the only models left from indominus box to paint we have the space marine librarian that I built the other day it's got a lot of comments and a lot of people interested we have the little killer bot guy i can't remember his name now what they're called now connected froze i think they are we have the avatar kahane who surprisingly is still here not even not not been getting votes or anything we have the Canaptic Doomstalker. We have the, the Plague Priest Skaven special character. I can't remember what his name is now. We have Night Goblin. We have Eight Bound. We have Tyranid Warriors. And we have the Venom Crawler. Right. So there's some crazy amount of things. I did want to have more um, done out of the Nid box. Um, to put it up here with you guys. But I didn't want to swamp it with just nids, you know, or just nids on one of them. So I think what I had there is fine enough. If I get the rest of those done today, next week, well, if I can get the rest of that box done, the next week is going to be like, it, your mind is going to be blown even more. Because between now and then, I won't take any of the new stuff, only the great stuff. I'll take things that are like the engines here and paint him, or something that's not getting any votes or not, you know, and paint that up and just clear that off of there and bring in crazy more stuff i mean there's still three boxes here with stuff to, to swap it out with but as i say sorry um there's also a wild card now what the wild card is you'll find out if it gets voted on 
If you have any questions for me, chuck on below and I'll either answer them straight away and address it next week, Wednesday, for everyone else. Or I'll just address it next week if it's not a, que answer you, not a question you didn't answer for straight away. If you don't want to chuck on below because you think people are going to take the mickey at me, and no, there's no silly questions. No silly questions at all. If it's a question that's already been asked of me, then I'll, I'll, I'll usually answer it. If it was a question that was asked of me this week, when's the first game of Temp going to be? And actually, I think I, I thought I to myself, oh, no, I swear that question was asked of me not so long ago. And I flicked back through week by week, and I found it, yes, it was only the other week that it was asked of me. And the answer was meant to be this week, but because the box arrived up late, it's going to be next week. So there's no, it could be next Wednesday. It could even be the week after when I'm on holiday again, because there's no, there's no stress and no panic. The only stress and panic we have um, is the kids are not in school, because my guys kids and I have kids, I have little one. So that's the only, that's the only stress that we have. But it, as we said, even if we play a thousand point game, and just keep playing thousand point games for the next couple of weeks until the kids go back to school, it, we're still getting a game in. We're still throwing dice. We're still, you know, recording for the channel. But um, I've often off subjects again. If you don't want to check on below, go to Unique World Gaming Terrain Facebook page. There is a messenger button there. You can click that and message me directly. It's not a problem. Only I see it. So there's no... Okay. Now, putting this box together... It's actually lovely. I love it. But putting this box together is really... Giving me like a kick up the backside. To start some of these bigger boxes. Shadow Throne and Piety of Pain. Now, I don't... I, I'm sure Air Hobbies still has Piety and Pain. I think it's on sale for like 120 euros or something like that. But I mean, I don't know if you guys want to see Shadow Throne and the other box, Piety and Paint box being, being put together. If we do, check on below and just, you know, I don't foresee it being a, a, a big, a big, you know, video. I know building in it so far, I think it's half an hour of footage. So that's without me editing or anything else. Could end up being a two hour video, but then I edit it down to like an hour, an hour and a half. And like, but anyway, if you have any questions for me, check them below. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. It costs you absolutely nothing. Nothing. And it helps the channel in a massive, massive way. And turn your notifications on so you don't miss anything. Okay, because if you had this box and you haven't opened it yet, you haven't started working on it because you don't have time to the weekend, or if you're living in the country and only receiving it during this week or this weekend coming, this is going to be a, a you know a nice thing for you to look at when I put this video up. A good helpful thing. That's just for everyone that's new. Um, well, not for everyone actually, really. I'm more waffling on because I'm, I'm, I'm so excited to get back into this. Um, everyone, please smash the thumbs up button because that triggers YouTube to share this video with more and more people, which brings more people to our community. And it's a lovely, steadily growing community. Every week, there's more people that join in. And guys, uh, one other thing. This video will be watched by maybe 30, 40, 50, 80 people. For five people a vote, or six people a vote. Everyone, just check a vote down. Just check a vote down for something you want. I've shown you. Okay? Even if you vote for saying it doesn't win, there's no panic. Everything has to be painted. So eventually, it will win. Whether it gets, wherever it gets voted on and painted, or we'll rather just go, right, that's been there long enough, let me paint that. Okay, it will be painted. So guys, check, check uh, your votes and your any questions below, or by messenger. Don't vote by messenger, because I won't count. Votes below, uh, questions below, or questions by messenger. Until next time, guys, hit the buttons for me. Take it easy.